When we do the beer run, clearing this this like road out now will make it a quicker trip. We won't have to fight then. I don't know, actually, maybe the dungeon will take too long and the world will have reset by then, but probably not. I expect the world wouldn't have reset by then. I said we weren't going to eat them, and here I am eating them. I'm taking one more. One more. That's the last rhubarb. We've been, we'll eat some berries to make up for the thirst. We'll get our thirst back. Perfect. Perfect. So we are 11 thirst. It's not too bad. There's another rhubarb I wanted. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. It's just like 20 bucks worth of uh, uh, vegetables to get the immunity. It's not a big deal. Maybe it's not even 20. It's like 10 coins worth of veggies, honestly. One rhubarb. And the mind wart wheel, we will eat. I know that made us thirsty, but I want to get the morale and sanity up. And the sanity is perfect, so that's we're done eating them. Because they don't give that much morale. I used to take them just for their morale saving purposes, and then someone in chat was like, they give sanity too. And I was like, whoa, they give way more sanity. They're not even really for morale. They're for sanity. You know, they're for both, but they're way better for sanity. I was, I was picking them up for the wrong reasons initially. Okay, okay. This was a this was a smooth start. Not a not a super fast paced start, but I'm happy with it. The character's in a good position. We'll, we'll when we go home, we'll sell off this stuff and buy some uh, gear, and then go in and do the dungeon with with relatively good gear on, you know. Good gear, good medicine. So, we'll, of course, we'll make it through the first dungeon. That's it's rare that we die there, but uh, we should make it through with with relative ease. I think it's nighttime. It's looking like nighttime, so we'll have to sleep. But that's fine. Well, we'll end up with a lot of vigor that way. That's quite all right with me. Quite all right with me. And it has been a couple hours. It's my usual time where I like to say hello to all the lurkers. How you doing today, lurkers? Thank you so much for being here. If you're lurking or if I missed you in chat for one reason or another, um, I don't think I missed anyone today, but if I did, hello and I hope you're well. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, thank you to all the chatters as well, but I like to give the shout out to the lurkers. You know, you get, to, you get to speak to the chatters, but you don't really get to speak directly to the lurkers, so, individually. So, I like to thank them as a whole. So, thank you, of course, for all being here. I appreciate it. Another silver plate. That's pretty good. We That was, a, that's a, like, you know, we didn't even do a dungeon, and we're, we're going to sell this for a fair bit of money. 250 for the swords. Um, maybe between all the jewels, another, like, three, three or 400, you know? We'll be able to get some good armor. Hopefully the Gambeson's for sale. If the Gambeson's for sale, we'll buy it, like, absolutely. Because uh, we'll have the money, and uh, I, I like it. If I buy the Gambeson, I don't feel pressured to buy a, a chest piece in, in Manshire. Because uh, I, I I don't love the nine the nine armor chest piece there. It's worth a thousand bucks, and it only gives you nine armor. I'm like, what a scam. Okay, I'm gonna run a room. I didn't mean to look for stuff. And eh, we're thirsty. That doesn't matter, though. Does this even give negative morale? Yeah, a small bit of negative morale. When you get really thirsty, it gets worse, of course. But I wasn't sure if the, the small thirst even, even interacted with your morale. But it does, very slightly. But that's fine. Morale's going up. We'll get rid of that thirst. Do we have anything to sell to the, the barkeep? I expect not, but maybe. Do we get any alcohol? Nah, okay. Oh, I forgot we had even more stuff to sell here. I forgot we didn't, like, sell any of our stuff. Let's go. We have, we, we're going to have a lot of money. I, I felt like we were doing, like, decently well off even with, uh, without, with, like, with the money we had. Even more money is lovely. Okay, do I want to sell him this stuff? I can never remember. 87102. I think you do sell it to him. I just, I always feel like you should sell it to the general merchant, but he's, I don't know. It's metal, so he pays more. Yeah, he pays more. I think even for the clasps and the earrings. Uh, 3556. We'll check, we'll check. Do you have anything I want to buy? Mm, no. Ancient copper ring. I actually buy those. Again, that's that's healing efficiency. I think it's worth a lot early game. Early game, it, it adds a lot of, you know, it saves you a lot of money. It, it pays for itself really quickly. So yeah, even these, heap, the, the blacksmith, you want to sell those to him. It just feels wrong. Like, I feel like I should be selling that to the uh, the, the general merchant. It's 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 not, like, he's not going to craft that or, like, you know, smelt it down to, to silver to, like, its raw values. It's already, it's already been, like, you know, it's a value-added product. It's worth more than the, the raw materials. Or at least one would assume. Trade with you, man. Come on. Sell, 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 sell. And then repair, sadly. No uh, no other good weapons yet. Oh, let's get a shield. Do you have a fish shield? Yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. I keep forgetting to do that. We've done that on, like, 20 characters. I say 20. We haven't had 20 of these. But you know what I mean. Every dude that I make, I'm like, I expect to have a shield on them. And I, I never buy it here. All my right-on-target dudes have been, have been shieldless still Manshire. 
Uh, not show me your goods. Instead, do this quest. Deal, and I've finished your task. All right, do we need more meds from this man? We have salves. Do we have pain meds? Yeah, we're good to go. We're good to go. That's fine. That's just, uh, we might even have too much meds. Oh, I should have picked up the stuff and sold it to him. Meh. Meh. That's my bad. That's my bad. Like the, uh, the, whatever, the stuff we had. The antitoxin or whatever it is. Is it antitoxin or antivenom? An antidote. I always say it wrong. And it, it's weird I say antidote because I'm saying antitoxin, but it's antidote. Um, I, I have said that like a million times, I'm sure. And the book, sure. We could sell it more in Manshire. I'm trying to do that. Um, like sell them in Manshire, but I'm really lazy. Okay, nothing else for that, dude. We have to go back down here to uh, sell this 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 medicine off. What am I clicking? Mean, am I clicking on the guard? Why couldn't I move? They were they were both there. They were taking up two tiles, so it adds up. Bird, buy my stabber. Buy the tiny stabber thing. Thank you, sixty-two bucks for it. We'll use the bandages eventually, and we'll get the armor going. So yeah, this is this is a good start. This is a fine start. And this stuff isn't stolen. This stuff is uh, we threw it down because the shops weren't open. Oh, I should have checked in here. This guy can have amazing stuff sometimes. Yeah, I should have, I should have gone in here. That stuff's not amazing, but I should have gone in there still. All right, show me the goods, old man. And do you actually have it? You do. Let's go. He has a canvas in. Repair that uh, and that, and then we'll buy this. Sell that. We still have 600 bucks. Gloves? you have some good gloves for me? It's a lot of money, but do you have the other ones? I prefer the other ones, I think. Mm, nah. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. And then we'll we'll just leave the boots. Yeah, we could buy these. We'll just leave the boots. If I could if I could afford those, maybe I'd buy those. But as it sits, this is okay. Because you can get gear in the first dungeon, anyways, or like you know, in any dungeon, not just the first one. But I don't need to worry about min maxing all my gear right now, is what I mean. And the other weapon slot is empty, right? Okay, okay. All right, let's go to Odar. Let's speak to him for the first time. We've been we've been wandering around his village for like three days, maybe, and we stole from him. You know, we we would robbed him. Maybe it's time to have a conversation with him. Oh, and the crossbow, dude. I took the bow. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll sell that. We'll go and sell it. I don't I don't want the bow, of course. What do you need? Blah 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 blah. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Fortress Nervist, was it? It's not far away, so it's nearest. And it is up there. Let's go. It's in the correct spot. It's up into the east. By these town shoes, I appreciate my boots give the most stat benefits. Ah, I'll just, I'm just going to send it. I'm just going to send it. The boots are really good. I do agree that the boots are like, like, they provide a lot of stats on top of the protection. They tend to provide like, you know, dodge or like, you know, just other stuff. But I'm fine with it. We'll save our money. Okay, it's it. We won't, we won't die. And when we go to Manshire, I buy the tin protection stuff there most of the time. The the boots, helmet, and gloves, at least. Not the, the chest piece, like I was saying. They both nerfed it and added the gamison in, so I don't find it that good. But uh, but the boots and stuff I'll buy in Manshire. And we'll have a thousand bucks for sure. We have 280 right now. We'll get money for the beer run. We'll get money for this. So we can definitely at least get the Manshire boots. I would love if we could also get the, the buckler. Um, boots and buckler. But if not, then that's fine. If it's only boots, then it's only boots. All right, let me sip some tea. A little bit of moment of silence for the sip of tea. Ooh, a grave. We'll dig that while I sip. And of course, because I just bought a chest piece, I'm going to get another chest piece. Didn't get one. All right, let's go. I wouldn't have been that mad if I got one. You can sell them for a fair bit still. Like, like you know, 30, a small amount. And we maybe would have replaced it with other loot in the dungeon anyways, so. I, I'm happy to have the 20 bucks, though. The, 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 the rock ash from the graves is always a pretty decent find. It's never exactly what you're looking for. You know, you're always looking for an upgrade early game or just, you know, uh, an expensive item later. But cash is cash, you know. It's 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 always okay. If you get a, you know, a birthday card and it has 20 bucks in it, you're like, yeah, I'll take it. It's 20 bucks. By the warfare book uh, for Adam Target, you just wait out until it with until SP lock. Uh, so I just go. Uh, yeah, that's why we're going Agi. I just waited out. Um, at level six, we'll have it from through Agi. So um, I've got I've got the builds fully planned out because we've done it a few times in a row. Um, we'll have these skills unlocked, and then we'll take this. And then at level five, we won't put a point in. And then at level six, we'll take dash and ride on target at the same time. That's the plan. We've we've failed to get there. And where's the where are we? Where's the the castle? 
Um, we failed to, like, execute on the plan a few times in a row, but that's the idea. Is, um, the add six have, have dash and right on target. But I, I think that the failure is not, not, yeah, I don't think it's the build's fault. I think it's my fault. I think, I think it's a problem between, between, the, you know, the keyboard and the mouse. I think it's the brain that I have. My hands and my brain are causing the deaths. So we're, no, 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 we already did it. I was like, do we need that? But we don't. Okay, two combs. Lovely loot. Two combs. That's what you want to see from there. Definitely wasn't hoping for a boar pelt. Nah, two combs is fine. Look, the bandit's got a, you know, look at that mohawk. You're telling me this man doesn't have a comb? He needs a comb. He's, he's, he's a stylist. These, these guys are more stylish than me, man. Look at me. I don't even, ah, you got a rocking beard. I won't hate on his beard. He's kind of stylish. Can you see the beard? You can. You can see the beard through the mask still. Like, sticks out the bottom. That's so fun. Um, you know, most helmets, of course, you can see the beard for, but they're, they're, you know, this is a full mask. I thought it would take it away, possibly. All right, and we have to kill these guys. It's a battle to the death. And it's, they're kind of annoying, because he can stab through him. He did stab him, though. Like, he can stab through him, but he stabbed him. All right, and he bled to death. We killed them both. Want more? More? Of course, Yorgrim's insane. Yorgrim's a psychopath. He has the, the craziest of the quotes. I wonder who has the least crazy quotes. Maybe Arna. She's always like, for House Dervern. Maybe, maybe Yana? I don't know what Yana says. I can't remember what she's yelling all the time. But Velmir says some, like, messed up stuff. Velmir says some evil stuff. And then Yorgrim is always like, I want to kill everything I see. So, I don't know who it is. I, I think I'm going to go for Arna. She seems pretty, pretty restrained with what she says. Her little quotes are relatively normal. We should be looking for traps. Trying a strength dagger mage with throwing daggers, so I'll probably need to buy the book for right on target. Yeah. What 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 magic are you going for? Are you going electro or are you going like pyro or possibly geo? I guess I could see Geo putting up the things and throwing daggers over the rocks, like rocking them out and then daggering them. But I'm assuming it's electro. Electro is like the, the standard, you know, mage alongside melee build. But the hybrid is uh probably best with electro. But yeah, you, I doubt you'll have room for Adji in that build. You, you will certainly have to buy the book. Okay. And as mentioned, this is fine so far. We, we took some damage. I'll heal it up. Salve it up. Why not? Why not? We should really keep looking for traps. I'm being lazy about that. I just don't, I don't want to step on any. We've got to have a single day where I don't step on a trap. I feel like it's happened like twice in the history of the show. There's, there's been like two days out of the like, I don't know, 130 days we've streamed Stone Shard where I didn't step on a trap, you know, for the whole stream. Search for one. And, you know, you got to search for the secret rooms, too. And we did get this enchantment scroll. I kind of glossed over it. I don't want to use it yet, but I'm happy to have it. We will use it when we get a nicer weapon, and it'll be a good addition to the build. Having it will be, will be you know, pleasant. How much pain are we in? Enough. Enough pain. Does this cause pain? Yeah, I thought it did. We'll go ahead and use this bad boy, and then we'll go to sleep. And that'll, you know, the pain that this caused will get countered out by the uh, the sponge, at least for like half of it. You know, it's still causing pain now, so that part's not getting countered, but the, the, the time during when we were asleep was. Electro, though, I haven't really checked between Electro and Pyro. Electro, uh, Mace Electro makes sense, but Dagger maybe could go either way. I think in general, Electro is just like really good, because just for the, the Jolt passive, whatever it's called, Beneath Jolt. What is it called? What is it called? Residual charge. Just for that. I think that helps a lot. But Pyro is always fine. We've we've seen uh, Akmal's... I say we've seen. I've seen Akmal's, uh like, a two-handed axe Pyromancer, and it put in some work. You know, burning the ground and dragging him through it. So Pyro definitely has room. And like I was saying, even Geomancy, you can put up the boulders and throw your daggers over top of them. So there is probably an argument to be made for all three mage classes. You know, whatever, whatever you're feeling. You could, you could probably, you know, get away with and not feel too bad. Geomancy is probably the biggest stretch, though. If we're, if we're being honest, Geomancy is probably the biggest uh, stretch to try to make work. For, for, for hybrid, not for just making Geomancy work in general. It's fine in general, but for hybrid, it's, you know, probably the toughest. The archers are just going to keep shooting me. The archers, they're ever so annoying. Dude, how did I not step on that? Let's go. I'm so happy. I'm 35 health. 
We won't die to the archer. We won't die to the archer. Okay, second wind is really good. Reinforced club, let's go. My preferred weapon. It's in terrible condition, but I prefer it over this for sure. I don't like fumbling around. Splint that bad boy and let's just run back here and heal. This is mostly for seal of power melee bonus. Actually, probably better because seal of fire uh, gives five crit. That is true. That is true. If you're if you're just using it for the uh, the the seal, like if you're just triggering seal of power, that five percent crit is a, a like a lot of, of bonus. And they all give bonus damage, so I think they all do. Maybe maybe not geo. I don't know. Um, but you know, so you're getting you're getting some damage out of it either way. So the crit goes hard. Another trap, dude. We're getting really lucky that we're not stepping on these, dude. We're, I need to. I need to search for the traps. I need to be searching. We're 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 playing way too lazily with it. Okay. Oh, you suck! Don't bleed me, bro. Don't bleed me, bro. It's okay. Bandage that up. Bottle of oil. Let's go ahead and heal up. We're at half health. We should definitely heal. And I want this wound to be stabilized. It's taking my health away from me. I need I need my max health back, man. Like, we should be at 91. Our, our limbs are barely broken. It's just that the chest was messed up. Ah, dang it. I was spam eating. As soon as I clicked it, like, I, I knew I was, like... Like, I recognized I didn't need to eat it, but my hand still clicked. It was, it was clicking too, like, too, like, uh, subconsciously or whatever. With, without actual intent. Just clicking around. All right. Something good, maybe? Not really. I'm gonna go with no, but it was it was not bad, actually. It's a fair bit of cash, and that silver cup's worth a little bit, too, so that was a fine chest. Especially for a tier one, that was actually fine. I have a crit cursor ring already, so looking at 18 base crit would be insane when I get set up. It, it, if you get, if you can, you know, like afford to wear the, the crit rings, where, uh, you know, if, you, if you're not too worried about the health, it can be really nice. It is a lot of base crit, those, those cursed rings add. Um, and you can even get non the non-cursed rings that are just uh, the crit rings. You can wear those, but I don't like those. They add they they give you a more damage taken uh, modifier, which I find to be like really scary. Just anything that multiplies the damage the enemies do, even it's a tiny multiplier. It's like by point, you know, it's like you know five percent extra damage, but um, it still scares me. Okay, an enemy's showing up. Is the boss there? Yeah, boss is there too. Okay, I'll seize this guy, but I'll save my other skills for the boss. Oh, and he dropped the healing ring. Let's go. So our healing efficiency is going to be through the roof. It's not an ancient copper, but it's a copper. Take another mead. Is that our third mead? Do we have three meads? Let's go. A true dwarf. And this is a two-hander? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything good? Yeah, we'll take the cabbage. We can eat both of it? Oh, it's because I got sick. I was like, weren't we, like, satiated? But it's because I, 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 I ate too much. I overate. The sickness set in. Mm, I didn't realize we needed stuff. I didn't realize this was a, a loot quest. We, we had to return with the loot. Oh, well, we can do this. My bad. That, that solves the problem right there. Perfect. Eh, Bronze Eagle's okay. We could, we could probably actually make it work. Put that bad boy on. There's room. I just, you can't rotate things in this game. Painfully. i uh, do this. This. There we go. There we go. There we go. I didn't need to move that one, I think. I think there was one extra in there. I think the buff for the curse, so it's only negative 20 health. I got a blue one plus 6 health, so it's negative 14. Oh, is it? Is it maybe, maybe it is only negative 20 health. I think it used to be like 20 to 30 or whatever. And when I put the ring on, I put it on recently, and it was negative 20 as well. So they very well might have. Um, so yeah, that's not bad. Negative 14 health for 10 crit is, is you know, is in comparison to the, like, you know, negative, like, like 26 health for 10 crit. It's way better. And that doesn't mean you're not getting any other enchants on the ring, but still, like you know, still, that's that's you know, even if you know you're sacrificing the health or whatever, like it calculates into the, the total total of health you get, the total total of health. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, so the ring doesn't have like other enchants, but still good. That's still fine. That seems worth wearing for sure. Remember being 27 so really bad? Yeah, before it was random. Before it was a random number in the 20s, I think. Um, but I, uh, I'll keep an eye out and see if I see, like, if I keep seeing them only at 20. That would be nice. Because 20 is a lot of health to lose. 20 is not a small amount to give up. Like, 25, 27, like, 29 or whatever. That's even more, you know? So, like, that's, that's even worse. But 20 is still, like, a, ooh. But 20 is still, like, a, a noticeable loss in health. And I'll go ahead. We have two. We have no room for it. I'll enchant this weapon. This is a weapon I want to use over the other one, so I'll enchant it. 
I flat weapon damage, elemental damage, fire, frost, anything, please. That's what I want. Bubble chance. Okay, we fumble. I'll take it. I won't roll over that either. It's not it's not a good enough weapon to roll over and also fumble's pretty solid. So with seize up, oh, this is the wrong weapon out. We need to have our other one out. But with seize up, hey, we only fumble 10% of the time. That's not so bad. Um, you know, the fumble chance is pretty solid. I, I value consistency pretty highly, so that's okay with me. Read the book. We need we need room. Uh, am I in pain? Can I can I get away with drinking a mead and not feeling super wasteful? Yep. Throw the bottle. Beautiful sound, chat. Oh, lovely sound. That one was quiet. And we'll take this. We want the book, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to make it work. We could just get rid of another mead. We still have one. Put that there. Maybe we'll come back for it. That book should sell for like 30 or 40. Ever felt unusable, almost asking to die. Now it seems more of a fair trade. With a dagger build even more in your favor. Yeah, I mean, it, it's still, it's even 20 health. Like, I, it's, you know, it's still risky. I, I, w I won't be putting those rings on too often, but I do agree. Previously, it was too heavy handed. Um, It's just, it's like, I don't know, a lot of your health pool. You're sacrificing quite a lot of your health pool to, to get that, that crit chance. You know, so it doesn't matter. It could be it could be like 50 crit chance, but if you're sacrificing enough health to die immediately, then it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter how good the the upside is. So I, I'm I'm glad they they toned it down a little. And I think some of the other curses got changed too. I feel like I remember seeing some other yeah 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 the 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 magic curse. It's it's 10 magic power now for 7.5 backfire. I think it was five and five. So I think they're changing it up. I think they're, they're you know just just a little balance on the curses. And again, the magic power, I think that's a buff for it as well. Because um, the backfire chance is like two cares or whatever. You can you can manage that, and it's an extra 5% mage power. So, you know, it's just it's just free damage, essentially. It's extra power added in, in my opinion. Okay, and we'll, we'll throw this bad boy on. Or we'll, you know, we'll fix it up and start using it. And we are done with the first contract, so therefore you know what time it is, chat. It is time indeed. It is time indeed. Time for a B-double-E-double-R-U-N beer run. We're going on a beer run, chat. We got to go home and we're doing that beer run. We're not going to mess it up this time. We're going to do the, the buttons in the right order. We're not going to die right afterwards. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be beautiful, chat. It's going to be a beautiful beer run. Rhubarb, we don't have room for it, but I want it. Ah, I picked the wrong thing up. Free me. Give me the rhubarb. There we go. We got water, so it doesn't matter if it thirsts me. Yeah, that one is nice too. Yeah, it's, it's it's definitely better. I'm happy with it. I don't think they changed the life or energy drain ones. Um, you know, everyone was happy with those, so I, you know, I don't think they needed to change them to, you know, get get folks to use those. And I don't think I've seen like any of the other ones yet. Like maybe they changed the accuracy and damage one or something. I don't know. But I liked that one too. I thought the accuracy for damage was great, or the negative accuracy for negative damage. Um, I thought that one was solid, easily worth wearing if you can, you know deal with the hit to accuracy and if you're like a mage and you don't really care about your accuracy that's even better than you know you could stack those up with like very little downside all right we're almost done it's the part of the day where we walk around but that's all right that's all right it's not too much walking i'm i'm you know this character is going to survive for a while so i'm okay having him walk around so i will not be letting it die it's not dying. We're, we're going to play smart. We're going to play smooth. We will win. Or at least we'll survive for a while. I don't know about winning. I don't think anyone's ever won Stone Shard. But we, we will make it to the late game with this guy. I, I have the utmost confidence. I am completely certain. Sell that to the blacksmith. Um, so even the jewelry, even though it's technically metal, the jewelry you do sell to the, this guy instead of the, uh, the smith. But all the other metals, I think you sell to the smith. The book will sell here, and uh, we should buy the ID scroll. Just cuz. Just, just cuz. How much is this bad boy? Yeah, I'm not paying 500 bucks for that. They used to cost like 50. They they nerfed the healer staffs or like, you know, buffed their, their price or whatever. Um, so dramatically. I think they wanted people not buying the healer staffs early game. Because I, I think the, the strat used to be just buy a healer staff right away and use it to heal. I mean, I still just go to the, the, the cabin off in Narnia, you know, to do the same thing, but at least that way you have to go and walk and get it. Just buying one for like 50 bucks was maybe considered too easy. Let's go up here first because we need to talk to him anyways. So I was going to sell this stuff to him, but we got we to gotta go down there anyways. Let's go up here to begin with. Not stolen. Let's go. The rabbit pelt almost certainly is though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll sell the spool as a thread though. That's, that's a little cash. 
That'll be like a hundred bucks, almost a hundred bucks exactly, because they sell for thirty-two each. So it'll be like you know, ninety-eight or something, ninety-seven, ninety-six maybe. I, I wasn't doing the math. Okay, spam through here, and we did it right this time. We didn't go talk to the other guy first, so lovely stuff. And yeah, we're we're balling, dude. Sixteen hundred bucks. Let's go. I, I said we would have enough money to get some stuff, but I didn't think we'd be this rich. Um, we're gonna have like almost two K by the time we go to the brewery. That'll, you know, we'll buy the beer and then we'll make like 500 bucks off of those or 250 profit and then another uh, 500 off Odar or seven. Yeah, we'll have like 2,700 bucks. We can get uh, two pieces of gear like helmet and boots and then the, the, the shield as well. This is actually like perfect. What did we get that gave us so much money, chat? I guess it was just nothing in particular. It was just a fair bit of different little things. It was just little doodads that were fine. No, no, I clicked the wrong button. Whatever. We, we still get to do it, but I, 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 I just paid him money. Like, I have to pay him money now, is what I mean. Can you, can you? Nah, okay. I, th I thought maybe I could be like, I gave you the plane before. Aren't we homies? So we got a beer for it, but again, that's not worth it. You get 25 bucks in the beer for the plane. You, I would much rather just not have to pay him 100 bucks. That is a much better reward, so that sucks. We'll sell these. What do they sell for? Thirty-three each, not thirty-two. So it's, it is ninety-nine. And we could we could buy like something like this, but we're we're going straight over to uh, upgrade our gear right now. So I won't I won't buy any upgrades. We just have to fight brigands. We're we're done with most of the combat. Just just a handful of brigands are left. We do need to make room for the beer. Yeah, we know we don't. I always say that, and then I remember, no, you don't. You 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 can buy one and throw the other one on the floor. This has got to be the wor the most useless shop in the game. Has anyone here ever purchased anything from this man? Like any raw meat? I don't know if I ever have. And I don't think he buys anything for good value. He's like, he's the most useless shop that the game has, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, the, the vegetable shops, at least, you know, they're veggies. You, you want those. Um, the milk lady, even. Like the milk and cheese lady. You know, cheese is fine. And milk used to be like the, the meme way to kill the troll. So like they had uses, but but the the butchers like are actually useless. Like they 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 provide no service to anyone. No one no one needs to buy raw meat in this game. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there are people out there doing it. Maybe that's the meta. That's why I'm dying so much is because I'm not buying raw meat. I truly doubt it, but you never know. I suppose you never know. All right, let's click over here and let's sip a little, a little bit of hands-free gaming chat. Actually, gonna use this time. I'm gonna apply some chapstick as well. A little bit of chapstick gaming. Don't you love to see that? All right, all right, all right. A shout out to Lazy Lovelace. I don't think he's here right now. Um, he could be lurking, but he normally chats. I'm a bit of a lurker when I'm in other people's channels, but I think he's a bit of a chatter. But he's been playing Battle Brothers. Um, I recommended it to him, and he's been playing it. I'm really happy to see that. Has anyone here just by chance been hanging out in Lazy's chat while he was playing? Has anyone been watching him play? I was doing a lot of lurking, and I was having a great time. I recommend it. If you if you don't get enough Battle Brothers from me, I definitely recommend watching him play it too. But I, I do understand if you if you're sick of the Battle Bros, if you're saying no, Quist, you play enough. I can't watch anymore. I definitely understand that because we've been playing a fair bit of it recently. It's just so good, man. It's such a good game. How could I not? It feels nice though. We're in like a like a. Like, it's like, what? it's not a game drought. Like, it's a game like Hurricane. There's just games left and right to play. Whenever whenever I feel like playing a game, there's something there. You know, it doesn't, doesn't matter what genre of game I want to play. There's something for me. It's, it's, it's quite nice. It is quite nice. All right. And this point of interest was there before. I thought about checking it out when we were over here last time. Just uh, going to the tier four, but I decided against it. So we'll check it out now. It's safe money's on a cart. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a cart. Um, there's a, there's a horseshoe, but I didn't think there would be much here. There was a mine where we should have grabbed, I suppose, but all right, it's fine. It's fine. It literally like doesn't matter. It's a very small change. If if that ends up you know affecting me in any way, I'll be stunned. All right, you spam one, you get 100 exp for going here. But you spam one. Odar, are you playing checkers? No. It's always best when he plays checkers on his way up. It's a rare little event, but it's cute. I prefer it. And we'll open this chest just so I don't forget on the way back. We'll open it on up, see what it's got in it. What you got for me? I'm gonna go with a uh, topaz and 72 gold. All right, that's fine. 
Moose antlers. If we can get our hands on some deer antlers, which are not too common, we can do that quest. I've just been selling these. I haven't been worried about that quest recently, but maybe, maybe, maybe. This is enough room for one beer. Yeah, we can fit a beer, and there's also one tile left. So, we can fit the barrel of beer. Barrel o' beer. One large barrel o' beer for ya. All right. Upward and onward. We'll be there soon. And this was a day. I feel like this didn't take too long. I feel like this was a, you know, a relatively smooth start to a character. We did a fair bit of adventuring. It's only been like an hour that this dude's been in, in existence. This man was, was merely pixels or like merely code an hour ago. Now he's a living, breathing creature. But I feel like we've, we've, you know, this has been a steady pace. Didn't take us too long to get this character going. And we, as I mentioned, we will not let this guy die. I'm going to focus and stay focused and not get greedy. Every potion that I come across is getting used immediately, essentially. Like, it's at the first, you know, possible value point. We're not we're not holding anything for the late game. We're just sending it. Don't we have an unidied potion somewhere that I need to identify? I think there is. Oh, I shouldn't have walked in. I should have just stepped away immediately. It's fine. Like, we're still running away, but I shouldn't have taken that one step in. It appears there's only three guys. Was it just three brigands this time? Hey, the, 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 the brewery was being attacked by three people? They couldn't handle three dudes? Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.